Starting with the gold prices and they have declined for a third straight day in the global markets on your screens quarter percent down and it's below $12.50 per ounce. The dollar has strengthened as investors expect ECB to inject more stimulus and that's weighing onto the prices. And it's a tenth straight day as the Indian jeweler sector is incurring a massive revenue loss estimated over 60,000 crore rupees as jewelers across the country protest the 1% excise duty announced in the budget. The jewelers remain adamant to maintain the strike till the government decides to roll back the decision. The dealers have been offering a discount of 45 to $55 per ounce in the last few days. The government, remember, was forced to roll back the excise duty it imposed in 2012 after a strike by jewellers that lasted 21 days. We are now joined by Rajiv Popley, who is director at Popley Group, joining us from a phone line in Mumbai. Rajiv, hi, good to have you. What's your sense? Since it's a tense trade day, the jewellery shops across India are shut. Uh, how long is this going to go on and how long can you guys really hold on to this? Uh, we are united, uh, so that's not an issue for us to hold on. The whole idea is uh, we are against the we are against excise per se. We are not worried about the one percent revenue. So excise is our concern, and we, we are very firm that we will hold on to the strike as long as it takes. Mm -hmm. And the kind of losses, and you know, it's it's wedding season soon. Uh, is it like a loss in business because uh, almost everybody we speak to in Mumbai and around India has been not been in business really? Surely it's a loss in business. Uh, it's a loss in business, and across the industry that too, it is loss for the carriers who are involved with us. It is loss of their day-to-day -day livelihood. And it's, it's, it's a long-term subject. We can't bend on the subject for this issue today because excise will kill the industry on the whole. And uh, you, you've seen jewellery as the core subject for India as manufacturing sector is also concerned. And this is totally against this whole subject. So the entire idea of Make in India will, will diminish with the excise coming into picture. Rajiv, what's your sense on the piling of demand? Do you see that coming back or do you think uh, the markets have moved out or moved out, out of that as of now? I, I feel the consumers will understand that this is for the industry and the ones who can hold back uh, their purchase would hold back uh, till good sense prevails. And uh, mm. if there's a loss, there's a loss. We have to face it. And what's your sense on how the ministry is treating this? Because it's a tenth day now, and I'm, I'm sure a lot of people are making presentation to the government onto this one. There are several presentations. In fact, I, what we've understood with the federation in touch with us on a day-to-day -day basis, there are a series of uh, uh, the delegations which have gone to state level and central level. Uh, we've not got a negative response till today, so we are in, in a hope that... Uh, good sense will prevail and uh, we feel the government wouldn't listen to us. Hmm. Rajiv, just taking cognizance of what, what happened in 2012 and that time the jewellers were, uh, were on strike for 21 days before the government gave in. I mean, what we understand is that 18th of March, the FM has a meeting with the jewellery associations to talk about gold monetization scheme and perhaps this subject would be taken up as well. That's right. Uh, this, this has been put in the agenda from our side that uh, we wish to discuss this uh, as the first priority because that's the first subject which is affecting the entire industry and the entire employment who is involved in the same industry. So it's, it's a very stern uh, subject from our side. At the same time, if we go back to 2012, uh, it was this uh, uh, the same team which helped us uh, oppose the subject against the ruling government. And we hope uh, they understand the same uh, aspects that we had portrayed in 2012, even today, uh, that uh, something like this is against the entire industry on the whole. Yeah. Well, that's, of course, the view coming in from Bombay. But we also have with us Ashok Kumar Fafalia, who is GS at Delhi Jewelers Association. And he joins us on a Delhi phone line as well. Mr. Kumar, hi. Good to have you. What's your sense? I mean, as we were talking to Mr. Popler, he says that the whole country, the whole jewelers in the country are united on this cause. How much longer do you think that the jewellery industry can hold on on this with strike? You know, this is, in my mind, this is an indefinite strike. Hmm. And it is not only the question of survival of jewellers only. Hmm. You know, behind us, there are thousands and thousands of workers who are working for us. If, hello. Go ahead. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, we can. So, therefore, we have to take care of our workers also. 
because this uh, law which has been imposed on us is very complicated mm. and our labor is not able to understand and comply with the law. We, we don't mind paying taxes to the government, but we don't want to be there under the net of their Inspector Raj by virtue of imposing this uh, excise on us. Sure. What's your sense on how is government treating this strike and whether or not they will roll it back in full? You know, because the entire business community is united and it is a question of bread and butter. Therefore, one has to fight till end. Hmm. What's your sense, uh, Mr. Kumar, then on the demand which is getting uh, wasted right now? Uh, do you see that coming back as and when the shutters open up from any of these jewelers? Uh, demand for uh, withdrawal of rollback of the excise? Demand for jewellery from consumers? Yeah, demand will definitely come when the shows are going to be opened. Hmm. Uh, also, since you are in Delhi, what's the kind of presentations that you're making to the government? What are you hearing from them? Are they ready to roll it back? Because a couple of reforms or other couple of policies already have been rolled back. Do you see this happening with this one too? You know, there's a different uh, opinion on this issue. Hmm. Certain government people, I can't name them, they definitely feel that the, it should be rolled back. And uh, they are also assuring us to raise this question in Parliament. Okay. But one pro-government sect says uh, are, is not able to understand our problem. Time and again, we are telling and explaining to them that we are not against paying tax. If government want more tax, they can enhance the custom duty. They can levy some other tax income. They can enhance the income tax. You know, somehow there are other ways also to get the tax from the uh, uh, these dealers and the people of the country. Fair point. But, that. Why, but why they want us to be under the net of excise? Hmm. And, you know, if you, I may tell you, in 1963, there was Gold Control Act brought by uh, our Prime Minister, Mr. Muraji Desai. At that time, he was Finance Minister. You know, government took 27 years to withdraw that. And when Mr. Madhu Zandrate was the finance minister, he could understand that it's useless, and he withdrew this uh, act, Gold Control Act. And during that time, so much of harassment, inspector was very difficult for jewelers to work. Your point is well taken, uh, Mr. Kumar, and uh, Mr. Popley as well. We really hope that better sense prevails this time around as well. As we told you before, it's a 10th straight day that the jewelers are on strike, the shutters are down, and there's a massive loss that the country is incurring at this point in time. In 2012, there's a similar position, and 20 days or 21 days of strike is what happened at that point as well before the government rolled back the duty. But take a look at the gold prices and they are trading in the negative right now. Let's go across to Ram Pitre and uh, he joins us live on the show as well with his sense on, of course, the whole issue and the prices as well. Ram, hi. The international markets are trading slightly on the lower side. The domestic markets are not buying, whether it's India or China for that matter.